Yes, sir. Atlanta's done way about station. It's I-1079. That's what I represent. You know what I'm saying? Trapping out the trap house. Trap house booming. You know what's going on. We in the streets with it. Got my girl, Miss Lewis, in the building. Hey, Miss Lewis. Hey. How you doing, Miss Sierra Lewis? I'm doing good. How you doing, sweetie? Are you going crazy in these streets? Right. What's up, big baby? How you doing? I'm chilling. What you doing? Man, I'm just cooling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Vibing off your music. Trying to figure out this life of a black girl. Ooh. Come on now. It ain't an easy life of a black girl. Come on, talk to me about it. What's so hard about being a black girl in today's society? <sighs> Angry black woman narrative. You know, the colorism. You Not saying so? I deal with colorism, but you know. I say chocolate it. I'm a sucker for a chocolate girl. I think a lot of guys are. I think they just don't admit it. And I don't know why. Yeah, you know, like... A that brown skin, that brown skin be different. So you don't ever hold your head down with that brown skin. That brown skin is something different. You know what I mean? Yes. So what what else be going on? What else dif- difficult that you go through? You what know, you seen? me, I be just going through my own life problems. You feel me? Like mm. outside of music, like music is my happy space. But like outside of music, like I be going through my like my my trauma, my childhood trauma, my my family issues and stuff like that you feel me so how, how is family issues now like dealing with like the scene that you blowing up and that you you know what i mean like you moving it's just my pressure because now people feel like i owe them why is that they just feel like i owe them something when i don't owe nobody nothing mm. they feel like i owe them for my success i need to do this i need to do that i don't gotta do nothing for nobody mm. that wasn't here for me that wasn't there for me when I was a kid. It wasn't there for me when I was trying to make it out. Y'all wasn't supporting me. Mm. So what make y'all think y'all deserve to come up off of me? Mm. So so who was actually there for you? Because you you make me feel like what nobody does, girl. I'm <laughs> like, damn, I just want to Yo. give you a hug when I be seeing your stuff. I'm like, let me give this girl a hug when I see her. No, because nobody was there for me. Mm. My foster mom, my godmom was there for me. Only they person. was there for me. Not my family. I was in the system. I was in foster care. I went to eight different foster homes. Eight different foster homes? Yeah. From the ages of what? You remember? I was since like 15. I was in and out. Wow, you kept fighting or something? Or what I was on? fighting. I was in and out. Foster homes. I was in and out. Detention centers. Group homes. So you just feel like, like, like what, what was the reason for that? Like, was you just getting into with people and stuff like that? Or? I was fighting because I was, you know. It's angry. I was an angry kid. Yeah. I mean, I, bet I was young. Going through I it. Fight, I fight a lot. I don't know. Kids fight a lot. No. <laughs> no, 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 kids. Where I'm from. It depends on bitch, what you... Yo, where I'm from, bitches be fighting all the time. Just fighting for no reason. Especially in the system. See, that's different. There's one thing when you talk about that. I'm talking about in them homes. Mm. Not homes. Group homes. Facilities. Mm. You feel me? Right. It's shit like that go down in the hood. So 22 years old, being in and out of foster care since you was 15... Like how? What what made you keep going? Like what what gives you your motivation? Because some people would have folded. What gave me my motivation is my fans. My supporters motivate me. My support. I didn't have nobody mm-hmm. when I was going through this, but when I was in the system, I was rapping and I had my fans. Mm-hmm. So my fans was pushing me. My fans was, yo, make another vid. Da da da. They was who I was doing it that's for. That's where you got your love from. Exactly, mm-hmm. and that's what motivated me to keep going. Mm-hmm. So born in Brooklyn, raised in the Bronx. What's what, what's like? What's it like being raised in the Bronx? Hmm. Mm. I was born in the Bronx. What? Why, why they say you was born in Brooklyn? Cause they silly. Mm. So I was born in Bronx. Bronx. I was born in Bronx Lebanon Hospital from Webster Projects. Okay. Y'all need to change it on Wikipedia. Stupid. She was born in the Bronx. Okay. Then I moved to Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, well we still like Brooklyn a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Coney Island, Twenty Oh Seven Surf Avenue. Okay. Was there for a little bit. Then I went to the system. I moved to PA. Then I moved, yeah. So, so what made you? What, what, what was? What happened in your life at that time? Being young, and I know, like, even reflecting on it, what, what happened in your life at that time that you were going in and out of the system? Like, I, I read that your, um, your mom died at twelve. Rest, rest in peace. You know what I mean? So, did it happen after that? Like, when your mom passed? When or? my mom died, my aunt took us in because she said she didn't want us to be in the system. Mm. But she said she didn't want to be in this. Uh, my aunt, look, when my mom died, my aunt took us in because she said she didn't want me and uh, my siblings to be in the system. Mm-hmm. She wanted to protect us from the system, mm-hmm. foster care. But it was worse being with her because I was being abused, molested, 
all of those things while under her roof that she says she didn't want me to be in the foster care for. Mm. But when I was in foster care, it was way better than being with my, my aunt. Damn. So, like, so is it... I get emotional when it comes to that part. Like, even with, like, you know what I'm saying, when, when I hear females talk about getting molested and, and abused, because I have a daughter that's 13, that's my heart. That's my dog. I'm talking, I love her. Like, I adore her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't even imagine something like that happened to my daughter. Is it that many little girls that's going through that, like, molestation? Well, from, like... They say my like people that damn me, they be like they going through that or they went through that or they were sexually abused or like a lot of people go through it, you wouldn't know. Like one out of three people mm. go through those things. So have you forgave your aunt since then or, or is it a thing like I you just don't rock with them at all? You want me to be real? No, I didn't. I'm twenty two years old, I'm still healing. Right. I don't think I forgave her yet. Like, no, I did not forgive her. But I do need to forgive, but I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. I ain't going to just get it all together at once. I mean, that's good that you know that. Have you have you talked talk, like done therapy and? Yeah, I've been doing therapy. How's that going? Nah, I ain't do therapy in a minute, but I need to do therapy. Me too. I think we all do. I think we all have past traumas in our I'm lives. I'm gonna cry if I do therapy. I'll be crying in my interviews. That's fine. Cause I, like I don't be talking to people like that about my problems. You should. So when I talk to people about my problems. I just get emotional. But there's nothing wrong with that, though. I mean, I feel like I said before. Like, I'm about to cry right now. When I told you, like, you being <laughs> you and you being authentic is just being you is amazing. Like, because you're amazing. Like, you know what I mean? But like, a lot of people are not going to see your light. And I feel like sometimes God make other make us go through certain things in life. We might not understand it, but you're going to be a blessing to a lot of people, like a lot of little girls out there. Because your music is just so raw and just so you. I just want to encourage you to, like, continue to be you. Unapologetic. Just, uh, Go crazy. Let the DMX out. <laughs> so tell me about DMX. Like, what, why, why are you so infatuated with DMX? Infatuated. I mean, like, do you love him? Like, that's. I mean, not not in a bad way. I'm saying, like, DMX is my dog. Like, I love DMX. Yeah. He's my favorite rapper. Growing up, just that's what it was. It was a DMX. DMX, where's my dogs? Oh, no. I just always, you know, what I loved about him, the fact that um he put his life in his music. Mm. So when I was growing up. And I would listen to him when songs like slipping mm -hmm. and falling. I can't get, get up. up. You know, when it was those type of flesh songs. Flesh in my flesh, blood on my blood. Those type of songs. It's dark and hell's hot. Come on. His mental battles and his problems, I could relate to it mm. and how free he was. Right. I need mm. you to be like that in your music. <laughs> I need you to keep going like that in your music because I feel like that's what we're missing. Like, I miss that type of music that, that really touched people's soul. So, working with Swiss Beats. He's looking at you. He wrote, he told me he reposted your uh, poetry. You slid in the DM, then what happened? I slid in his DMs. <laughs> and then he was like, keep working. I was like, all right. <laughs> and then he Did was. Did it piss you off a little bit? He, like, he was, was like, damn. I felt like, bad. I felt a little bad because I was like, damn. Because, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm in the hood. Mm. I'm thinking, he my, he my way out. Like, right. he going he gonna to help me get out. You feel me? Right. So when he was like, yeah, I was like, fuck. Fuck. At the time, us artists, right? Mm -hmm. When we coming up like a person like him, right. that's like big to us. Right. To me, that was like mind blowing. You right. feel me? Like, yeah. So when he, but you know, he said that, but two days later, he hit me up again. He was like, we need to work. He put me on his EP. So when, when you got that message, seen that DM, before you opened it, what did you think? Did your heart start racing? I was happy because he swung, he swung back. Mm. So I was like, oh, it's not too, like, I got it. You know, it was just amazing. It's lit, like, shout out to Swiss Beats. Like, he really changed my life, bro. And I, I'm, I'm glad to see you happy. You know that Swiss Beats, yo, I swear, I know you're not going to believe this, bro, but let me mm. tell you, when Swiss Beats discovered me, I was homeless. Wow. Like, I was hopping from, um, what's that thing called, B&Bs? Uh-huh. Airbnbs? Yeah. Just With different people. Mm. And then he hit me, like, when he we started working and stuff, I told him, like, yo, Swiss, I'm going to be real, bro. Like, I don't got no place to stay. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, could you help me? <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm dead serious, what though. what he say? Yo, he, he, his peoples, he got, I think, whoever works for him, and they got me um shelter. Mm. It's been five months. So now, now I'm able to get my own home. Mm. Oh, another thing. What? I got my own home and I'm about to see it. This is my first home, my own home. Come on now. 
And I'm gonna be in the, going back when I go back to New York. I'm gonna be living no Jersey. I'm gonna be living in my own home. How you feel about that? I feel good. What you what, what you gonna buy? You gonna buy your big screen? How big TV you gonna buy? I'm gonna buy a big screen TV that big. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta get you like an 86 inch. You gotta go crazy. I'm gonna go cool. Mm. I'm proud of you, girl. I'm happy <laughs> to see like you have an amazing story. As far as everything you've been through and overcome, hey, you gotta you just gotta keep pushing for all the all the girls that's going through it. You know what I'm saying? So on home, get in the car. I don't drive. I don't want to ever drive. You don't. You don't never want to drive. So you tell. All right. So now I interview you again. When you blow up, don't tell me you got no. I'm gonna call your ass out. <laughs> if you had you riding around that Maybach and or them run them roads, run them ghosts. I'm gonna call your ass out, Scar. Yeah, I'm not gonna be the driver of it. I'm gonna get it, but I won't be the driver. I don't want to drive ever. Why? I just got a fear of driving. A fear of driving. Out of mm-hmm. all the things you've been through in your life, and you fear driving. My mom got hit by a car. That's how she died. Mm. I don't like driving. And I be zoning out. So if I'm driving, I might like zone out or some shit. And then I just will forget to check this side. Like if I'm driving, <laughs> I forget to check the, the mirrors oh, so or some shit. So you one of them drivers that are sliding somebody's lane I'll on fu- accident? I'll fuck up. <laughs> I know I will. And that's why I'm not going to drive. I'm not. Well, at least you know yourself. That's cool. <laughs> yes. So you're going to have a driver when you drive, but you're going to get a car. Oh, I'm going to get a Jeep. You know what my favorite car is and my goal I want to get? What? A Jeep Wrangler. That's it? That's what Swiss could give me for my birthday. That's hard. A Jeep Wrangler. But you ain't going to drive it. I know, but I want to sit in it. You just going to sit in the route? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. I, I think you're going to I think you gonna get past it, like especially with therapy and everything like that. You're going to get past it. Yeah. You're going to focus. You're going to get back together. You know what I'm saying? Because you're doing better now. So on crib, about to get a Jeep. All right. So what's next for you? Like, what do you feel? Right, what's this tape? The Scars and Stripes. Yeah, Scars and Stripes definitely is next. I got one more single dropping before mm. that. Okay. What single is that? A big feature. Mm-mm. Who? I can't tell you. Is it female or male? I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, you leaving me in suspense. But it's a big feature. Um, and it's next. Mm. It's after, you know, this new song I dropped. It's going crazy, but you know, it's another one. And then the EP drops. So this next single, you ain't got to tell me who's on it. Like, what makes you feel like this is a big record? Like, what what's so big about this one? I feel like it's a big record because, like, we're not dropping nothing we think isn't going to have potential to be big. Right. That's number one. We I mean, you got like, Swiss with you. Yeah, he ain't going for that. Yeah. We ain't going for Come that. Come on, man. Alicia Keys' husband. Yeah. Come on, man. We ain't going for that. And Alicia Keys, shout out to Alicia because she was listening to my song, No Statements. Mm. How did that feel? Good. That's good. But maybe you can do a collab. We know she did that New York. New York. Yo, you, if you think me and Alicia ain't going to do a collab, you crazy. Come on now. You got to. So who, what artist is like a must? I got to. I got to. I got to do a song with them. I got to. I got, Cardi, bro. Okay. She's a I got to, but I got to work. That's going to happen. I got to work for it. Cardi Cardi does a good job, but she know about you. Yeah. I promise you know about you. I'm a matter of fact, I'm going to DM her and tell her like, yeah, Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm playing? She follows me. You need to tell her. That's been my dog for a long time. I believe you. Okay. And who else? So <laughs> Cardi and who else? Cardi, um, Eminem for sure. Come on now. Billie Eilish, Doja Cat. That's your girl. Shout out to Doja Cat. She just dropped the album. What? I've been promoting her album. I know every, you have. Every radio station I go to, be like, yo, shout out to Doja. She just dropped the album because you got. I really appreciate her mm-hmm. music. I appreciate what she's doing for hip hop. Like why? She's like the number one. She got number one. Um. For hip hop, right? Right. Which hasn't been done this year. Right. Or am I wrong? Mm, She's don't doing... give me the line. Yeah, I don't know. She did something that was amazing. But what? What like? What is? What is? What is up with her that you love? Her music, bro. She's so versatile. Everything she drops has a value. Mm. It's not just she's just dropping in his head, but it's not any value behind it. Her music, I feel like, got value in it. Mm. She always saying something with it. You know what I mean? Right. And I just appreciate her music a lot. And she does hip hop, rock, jazz. Shorty, like she say so dropped, and she had to perform that. She was performing that song. She did it in mad different versions, R and B, rock. She switched it up in mad styles. Like, I just mess with Doja. Mm. Okay, she so just different, bro. So that Doja feature gonna come? We gonna, yeah, we gonna I'm gonna work for that. it. We gonna we gonna speak on that. Yeah, we gonna call it. When who else? That's it. That's all. Ain't no new artist. New 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 female artist. New female artist. Who I like? Who? Oh, Glorilla. Mm-hmm. Okay. Glorilla. Memphis. 
I love Glovilla. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Glovilla. All right, all right, all right. So look, how do you feel about, okay, a lot of times in the game, do you feel like women are forced to, like, change their look and change their body type and change their body style because of the music? I don't know. I don't want you to do anything. I want you to stay yourself. Yeah, but I don't know. If, I don't know, though, because, like, I don't I just think they baddies. Mm. They was born bad. Not like, all I of them. I be seeing these, I be like, yeah, they some baddies. Not all of them. <laughs> they, they, some of them got some work done to be bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the truth. Why are you looking straight? Don't look at me like that. I'm telling the truth. Do no, you, like, do, but do you feel like the like 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 women in the game are forced to do that? Like to get their bodies done? I'm not body shaming because I feel like any you, you should be able to do what you want to do. If it's your body, do you. But do you feel like the like the industry makes women want to feel like I'm not good enough looking like how God made me how I was born? I feel like nowadays in society, I see a lot of like things in society like you gotta look like this or do like that. In society, but it's because of society. Like we make it. It's all of us mm. that make it that way, and we wonder why it's like that. It's because of all of us as a whole. Mm. You know what I mean? Like okay. that's what I think. Okay. Well, I just want your your opinion. You know what I mean? So, therapy, dealing with that emotion. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to salute you and tell you to continue doing all your big one. Go big on everybody. Go up to Atlanta, and you got to make sure you come back to the show. Which so oh yeah, def- birthday. Yeah. Yeah, birthday uh, birthday bash. Mm-hmm. That's what you. That's what we. That's what we're gonna feel like this year, like mm-hmm. next year. Okay. One oh seven nine. Mm-hmm. You know I'm gonna always be. I'm gonna be here probably every other. You I'm got so coming. you promise you are gonna stop by? Don't act, don't get Hollywood with me. Ms. No, Lewis. I ain't gonna get okay. Hollywood. I'm gonna call you out and I'm loud. Mm-hmm. I'm like Sierra. Yes, <laughs> don't do that. No, <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, I thank you for coming to the show, and I'm definitely proud of you. If ain't nobody told you today. Thank you're you. amazing. You're beautiful. And Thank keep going, you. keep working, keep grinding. I appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to um y'all for having me here. For sure. It's lit. There it is. Scarlet Lips, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely going down. Miss Lewis. In yo, the building. yo, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Scar underscore lip. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok at Scar underscore lip. All social medias at Scar underscore lip. And make sure you add me to your Spotify playlist and all your streaming playlists at Scar Lip. Come on. Let's now. get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How on 7-9 Trapped out the trap house She did